Why do we use 4 to 20 milliamps instead of 0 to 20 milliamps in the instrumentation? According to my experience, uh, there are four main reasons for this. The point number one is the live wire detection. Suppose we have a pressure transmitter connected to a pressure controller and this pressure transmitter is giving as 4 to 20 milliamps output signal. Since the minimum signal is 4 milliamps, this is very useful. If the signal drops below 4 milliamp, this indicates that there is some issue with the transmitter or the wiring. For example, if the wire of the pressure transmitter is broken or loose or the pressure transmitter itself malfunctions, the controller shows some error. So 4 to 20 milliamp signal standard is very useful in detection of faulty wiring or the pressure transmitter malfunction. Let's understand more about this. For example, if we use a 0 to 20 milliamp signal transmitter, this means that 0 milliamps is minimum signal. If transmitter wire is broken or transmitter malfunctions, we cannot detect it and the pressure controller shows zero pressure and continues normal working. So this is why we use 4 to 20 milliamps because in this system if the signal drops below 4 milliamps the minimum level controller shows some alarm and alert the machine operator. Reason number two is a easy scaling and calculation. For example we are using a 0 to 10 bar pressure transmitter. It is very easy to scale 0 to 10 bar across the 4 to 20 milliamp signal. For example, at 4 milliamps, the pressure will be 0 bar and it is 0% of the output signal. At 8 milliamp, the pressure will be 2.5 bar and it is about 25% of the transducer signal. At 20 milliamps, the pressure will be 10 bar and it is the 100% of the transmitter output signal. Reason number three is the minimum current for transmitter operation. Since most of the modern transducers now come with the two wire connections, so there is no separate wiring to power up the transducer. This means that the transducer electrical circuit uses this 4 milliamps current for its operation. So this 4 milliamp minimum signal gives the current for the transducer operation. Reason number four is the signal filtration and induced currents. As you guys have seen that the control wiring in the machine is very congested, especially in the control panels. So the wires which carries analog signals coming from the transducers are run very close to the high voltage lines, such as the wire for the motors and the heaters. The magnetic field in these wires generate induced current in the analog signal wires. These induced currents can pick up by the PLCs or the controllers and show false readings which can disturb the machine operation. As we use 4 to 20 milliamp signal standard, this will filter the induced currents or the false signals because anything less than 4 milliamp signal will be ignored. So that's the end of the today's tutorial. Please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon and stay connected with me. Till next video, take care and goodbye.